Hello and welcome to Longship Gaming. Today we are playing a game of Aeon's End. We're continuing our journey um, through the initial box. So I chose uh, a nemesis at random and selected a couple of breach mages that I thought might work together pretty well. Um, so our nemesis, uh, starting on his standard 70 health, is the Crooked Mask. So his unleash ability is that any player gains a uh, gains a corruption and places on top of their deck that player shuffles their discard pile into their deck so this is one of the cases in which uh, it breaks the the tenant the the villain or the nemesis breaks the the main tenant of the game which is no shuffling he forces you to shuffle um, these corruption cards that he places into your decks um, sometimes uh, have a benefit to you but always have a downside as well. Um, so you never really know what you're going to get to your, uh, there's, there's quite a few of them. Um, when they're destroyed, they just go back on the bottom so that you will see them again. Um, and I guess in that sense, you can predict what you're going to face, but with that many cards, uh, and depending on how long the game goes, I doubt I'm going to remember them. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, and there's some rules of how to deal with, uh, with those corruptions. So it's destroyed. It goes on the bottom of the corruption deck. When a player would gain a Corruption and the Corruption deck is empty, Gravehold suffers two damage instead. At the start of each player's turn, before that player's casting phase, the player resolves all Corruptions in their hand in any order. At the end of each player's main phase, the player resolves all Corruptions they drew during their turn. Corruptions may not be played by uh, at, at any other time. When a player gains a Corruption, that player may not look at the corruption unless it is placed into their hand. Um, so our Breach Mages, I've chosen Kadir, the uh, Breach Mage Delver. Uh, her starting hand is one Emerald Shard, three Crystals and one Spark. Starting deck is three Crystals and two Sparks. Uh, she has the requisite four Breaches, one of the which is open. Her uh, special ability is Otherworldly Gate. Activate during any player's main phase. That player may return up to three spells in their discard pile to their hand. That player may prep up to two spells to each of their open breaches this turn. So, the reason why I've done I've done this and paired it with Phaedraxa is because, as you can see with Phaedraxa, she doesn't have um, a first open gate. She has in slot two. She does, but she only has three uh, total breaches. Um, her starting hand is a Tormeline shard, three crystals, and a spark. And her special ability is Auspex Rune. Uh, activate immediately after turn order draw. Uh, turn order card is drawn. Prevent any damage that the players or Gravehold would suffer during that turn. So she's uh, <clears throat> she can protect us and Gravehold from damage. Um, so in that sense, uh, since I like trying to get these uh, special abilities to go off, I've chosen the. Uh, a market that uh, is basically called free charges in the book. It's one of the starting ones. Um, so I have a Jade, Verswood Amber, Diamond Cluster, Unstable Prism, Mage Talisman, Spectral Echo, Ignite, Feral Lightning, and Wildfire Whip. Uh, so yeah, we're all set up and ready to go. We'll take a break and be right back. All right, we're back and ready to go. Facing off with Kadir and Fidraxa against the Crooked Mask. So, let's see what the turn order deck has in store for us. So we're starting with Fidraxa. Okay, well, put our spark into our open breach. Then we have four to spend here. Let's, let's get ourselves a diamond cluster because we know we're going to be able to do that on our next turn as well. Get two of those in a row just to start beefing up our cards. So, goes in our discard. Those are spent. Okay. Next. This Kadir. We're going to put our 
spark. Oh, forgot to draw our rest of our hand here. So there we go. Put our spark in. Don't need to gain any life. So we have four. Uh, I think we're going to do the same. We're going to get ourselves a diamond cluster. Next. Oh, all right. <laughs> Back to Phaedraxa. Spark goes off. Yeah, I got some damage on the board. One whole damage to the Crooked Mask. Put a spark. Get another gem diamond cluster. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so she's done for the turn. We'll be so lucky to have Kadir. Nope, it's going to be the Nemesis. All right, Nemesis. Bleed Static, power three. The player with the most prep spells suffers two damage for each of their prepped spells. Okay. And it's power three. So we know that one of these is going to disappear this turn for sure. No way to get rid of that. We just have to count down. And back to Kadir. Kadir Spark will go off. One damage. Uh, we'll put a Spark out. We have three crystals. Nothing we can really do with this Spark. Well, we could spend that to open our other Breach. Which we might do just to be able to get the spark out of our hand. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to open our other breach. Put the spark in it. One, two, three, four, five. Next turn is buying turn, evidently. And lastly... We know it's going to be a nemesis. Power's going to come off. Corruptor, minion, health six. When this minion suffers damage, the player who dealt that damage gains a corruption and places it on top of their deck. Persistent, Gravehold suffers one damage. Okay. Question is, do we need to deal with them right away? One damage over time against Gravehold? Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. It'd be great if we could deal with him all in one damage, but he's going to do, he's going to be able to do a total of six damage against Gravehold over time. I don't know whether that's worth the trade off of uh, having an unleash happen. Oh, it doesn't unleash, sorry. Gains a corruption and places on top of their deck. Okay. Okay. Starting with Phaedraxa. Spark goes off. Um, yeah, I'm not, there's not a lot of damage to do to it, so I don't want to, I don't think it's a good trade one damage to it for uh, one corruption. Uh, let's see. Um, we could one, two, three, four, five, six. Spectral echoes or ignites. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a jade and I'm going to buy an ignite. So, two for the Jade, and four for the Ignite. So let's put, let's buy our Ignite first, and then our Jade. Mm. 
one, two, three, four, five. Lots of crystals. Okay. Next. Okay. Phaedraxa again. Put out a spark. We have five to spend again. Um, let's get ourselves a talisman. Start building up those charges. Now we've got to start thinking about destroying cards. Okay. Next, Nemesis, Bleed Static comes off. Rayfold takes a damage. It takes a damage. We're going to count up for these ones. Eh, you know what? Let's count down. Keep it consistent with our Breach Mages. All right. Tempt. The player with the most crystals in hand discards all of their crystals, suffers three damage, and gains a card from the supply pile that costs four ether or less. Okay. Who's got the most? So, Phaedraxa has three. And Kadir has four. Okay. So. Oh, she has five. So her whole hand just got discarded. And we took... Three damage. That smarts. All right. Oh, we gained, sorry. Discard and then gain. Okay. That's going to go to our discard before we draw all these up. We'll do that right now. Anyway, four or less, eh? I think we'll do an ignite as well. Okay. Cluster. I'm going to get these clusters working together, but no luck. Okay. Next. Now it's us. Two sparks are going to go off. <clears throat> Put out a spark. Uh, let's see. I think we need to start destroying things. So we're going to spend three on a Spectral Echo, and we'll do two on a Jade. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now we can start destroying things. Next, it's us again. Spark will go off. We're going to use the Emerald Shard to heal ourselves for one. Put out an Ignite. Three. Stable Prism of Rizwood Amber. I think we need to start destroying things, so we're going to go for a Prism. One, two, three, four, five. So far, no corruptions, which is a bit of a shock, but we shall see. 
Okay. And lastly, it's going to be the Nemesis. So this is going to go off most per preps, per prepped, bleh, most prepped spells. Uh, we'll take on Phaedraxa. Corruptor is going to hit Gravehold. Down to four. Burden. The players collectively gain two corruptions and place them on top of their decks. Any player may focus a breach. Okay. So now we see how it hurts us, but also can benefit us. So we're each going to take a corruption. Any player may focus a breach. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think we want to focus Phaedraxa. Or, no, because it'll go off at the start of the turn anyway. Okay, so let's focus Phaedraxa for an Ignite. Okay. Back to the start of the turn. <laughs> Yay, we've done a whole sick damage to the Nemesis. And now we're start, going to start getting corruptions. I wonder if I... Nah, it's better to have the cards. I was thinking about maybe using a um, an app at some point. But you know what? I like the tactile nature of the cards. Okay. Next. Nemesis. Corruptor. Got a corrupt. Three damage left. Unleash. Gravehold suffers three damage. Okay. Uh, any player gains a corruption. Oh, we should have... Uh, when we gain... Oh, there was nothing in our discard piles anyway. Got to remember that. The player shuffles their discard pile into their deck. But in both cases, when we got those corruption cards, we had nothing in our discard. So that's good. And we're going to do that again. So it's going to unleash... Gatefold suffers three. Uh, who's going to get this one? Let's give it to Phaedraxa. Okay. All right. So. Uh, spark. It's going to go off. Still not going to bother hitting the Corruptor. Uh, and then Ignite's going to go off, and any ally gains a charge, so charge. Going to put a spark out. What do we want to buy here? Um, we have five. Talisman or Feral Lightning? Feral Lightning may not be so great. Another Ignite, maybe? For four? Or it may just Talisman. Gotta start destroying some things as well. So maybe we'll do... Now we're gonna do Spectral Echo for three. And buy a jade with the jade for two. Okay. Now we draw. One, two, three, four, five. Two of these we know are going to be corruptions. But those will go off. Um. 
player's turn. Okay. Next. Oh, okay. So, before anything else happens, we have our corruptions go off. And it can be done in any order. Greyfold suffers three damage, gain two life. Suffer one, okay. Let's just do endless hunger. So Greyfold suffers three damage. We gain two life, so we're back at full. And then destroy it. And then Contagion, suffer one damage. Let's back down again. Those are nine. Return any card that costs zero in your discard pile to your hand. Might as well be a crystal. And discard this. Oh, hold on a second. Destroy it? Oh, no, it's destroy. I thought I said discard. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, I figured they're all destroy. Okay. Uh, so it's our turn proper. There's nothing we really want to destroy over there. Three, four. <clears throat> um, let's go with another ignite. One, two, three, four, five. Really gotta start destroying stuff. All right, next. Deal two damage, and ally gains charge. 59. Spectral Echo, Spark. We have four. Um, we're going to like a knight, but we're going to run out of them. Yeah, let's get a spectral echo. Start destroying things. One, two, three, four. There's our corruption. Next. Oh, it's us again. Okay, so our corruption. Dire wisdom. Gain a spell from any spell supply pile. Gain three corruptions and place them atop of your deck. Yikes. Okay. Let's get... It's tempting to go for the most expensive one. But I don't think we really need to. So we're going to get a Spectral Echo. Put it on top of our deck. And then we get three Corruptions. Oops, wrong deck. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, all right, now our Spectral Echo goes off. It's going to do two. Destroy a card in hand. Uh, I feel that that's going to be our spark gets destroyed. Goodbye. Three crystals, I think, for an unstable prism. Oh, I forgot about the other spark going off. Burp, burp, burp. 
There we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Here comes a whole bunch of corruptions for us. That's not till next turn. And lastly, it's going to be the Nemesis. Greyfold's going to take another one, so it's lost a third of its health. So we need to start being careful. Unleash any player suffers three damage and draws a card. Okay. So any player gains corruption, so it's going to have to be Phaedra. Uh, and we'll suffer three, so we're going to six. We shuffle. So now our order is completely messed with, but we get to draw a card. It's a jade. Okay. All right, back to the top. Number two. Uh, so the spark's not going to kill the corruptor, unfortunately. I was hoping to have a two damage spell, but so be it. Okay, uh, we're going to use Mage's Talisman to gain a charge, and an ally gains a charge. Oh, we have so much available to us. Okay. Um, one, two, so four, we got seven. Okay. Um, I need to start destroying things. So I think prism. No. An echo. It's the last echo and an ignite. Ah, whoops. One, two, three, four, five. Lots of spells there. Um, all right. Next. Okay. Ignite. Fortunately, I can only cast one of them. It costs three to focus open. So it's unfortunate. So these are going to end up just sitting in hand. I'm going to spend the two on a jade. I already want to spend two on a charge. We're going to spend two on a charge. One, two, three. Oh, still no corruption. Okay. Nemesis. Corruptor. So Greyfold's going to drop to 19. It's got one health left. Power one. Greyfold suffers 18 damage. Yikes. Players may collectively discard up to six gems for each gem discarded this way. Prevent three of that damage. <sighs> okay. Okay. 
up to six, eh? Well, we have to prevent it as best we can or else Grave Hole is just going to get destroyed on the next turn. And that can only reduce it so much. Okay. <laughs> Rough. Oh, all right. Uh, so Corruptor's going to go off. It's going to die. It's going to do its one damage. So we need to discard. I only got two that can discard. So that reduces it. So it still does 12. Oh my goodness. This is not good. Down to six. Wolf. Okay. Unleash twice. Any player suffers two damage. So we will unleash. And there each person gets one. Then we shuffle. And the person taking damage is going to have to be Kadir. is pretty nasty. Oh. That was a brutal turn. Okay, um, at least the nemesis is gone, <laughs> and we know uh, we still have some stuff to do here. Okay. All right, so let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot to take damage, so let's see what order. Suffer one damage, gain a charge, destroy this. Suffer one damage. You may destroy a non-corruption card in hand, destroy this. Gravehold suffers two damage. Focus a breach, destroy this. Well, we know we're taking two damage. And we're going to gain a charge. We may destroy any... Okay. Do I want to destroy? May? I don't want to destroy that spark right now. Maybe I do? Yeah. Yeah. Gravehold suffers two. It's down to four. Oh boy. Focus a breach. These are all gone. That was a brutal turn. One, two, three, four, five. And us again. So spectral echo. Deal two damage. Things are not looking good for us here. Destroy a card in hand. It's going to be the spark. Uh. Then we're going to Unstable Prism, destroy the crystal, the game two. So we have four, Ignite goes into there. So we have four in total. I think that's gonna be the last Ignite is gonna get bought. One, 
two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, things are looking rough. We could, uh, getting caught out on that one turn without having the uh, crystals available. That was, uh, that was not great. Nemesis. To discard, discard four cards in hand and draw one card. Gravehold gains three life. Crooked Mass gains 13 life. Well, it's not a hard choice. Gravehold needs three. But <laughs> Crooked Mass could go up to almost full. Rough. Everything at night. That's two damage. Ally gains a charge. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Fever of War goes off first. Suffer damage. Now I'm down to three. Yuck. Deal two damage. Um, all right, we're going to put out our Spectral Echoes. I'm going to gain a life. Crystal does nothing. Next, Nemesis, it's going to go, the Cauterizer, when damage is dealt to this minion, reduce that damage to one, persistent, any player suffers damage equal to the minion's current life, alright, so this thing has to die. Uh, all right, so we're going to deal a damage to it. And the ally gains a charge. And we're going to ignite. Stuck with these two spells. One, two, three. Uh, both these Spectral Echoes, I think, are going to be used to kill the Cauterizer. Uh, may destroy a card in hand, so two Crystals are going to go. We're going to use the Unstable Prism to destroy a Crystal. So we have, whoops, four in total. What to do with that? Prism? No. Cluster? Yes. Two. One, two, three. Come. And lastly, Ignite, deal two damage, ally gains a charge. Whoops. 48. 
All right. Fully charged up. Um, two, three, so we're not going to be able to open that breach, but we can focus it. And hang on to that spark. One, two, three, four. Okay. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, we know that the mask is going to gain most of its health back, but we got to get health back onto Gravehold. Okay. Nemesis. That's well, going to go off. Gravehold gains three. And Nemesis goes to back up to 61. Unleash twice and Gravehold suffers three, or place the most recently discarded meaning card in the Nemesis discard pile back into play. And that's the, okay, you know what? Fine. I would prefer that. All right. So we're going to Spectral Echo and Ignite. Um, we're going to destroy that crystal. So I have a total of, oh, just three. So Unstable Prism again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. So ignite. We're going to do one damage to the cauterizer. An ally gains a charge. Well, already full up on charges. Deal two damage, gonna do it another point of damage. It's down to one. Uh, may destroy a card in hand, so that's gonna be a crystal. Put out a spark. I think we wanna open a breach. Not that we can put anything in it right now. Oh, we might. Hold on. Using her ability. And diamond cluster, so two will buy a jade. Okay, so we're going to use Kadir's ability. Return up to three spells from the discard pile to their hand. That player may prep up to two spells to each of their open breaches this turn. So, up to three. One, two, three. I mean, we could do all ignites, actually. So let's do that. So ignite, and two ignites. That's pretty potent. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, we got two of our 
corruptions here. Okay. Next. Okay. Spectre Echo is going to go off. We do not want to destroy a card in hand with all these spells. So we're going to kill the Cauterizer with it. Ignite. Two damage. Alley gains charge. So we're at full charge now. Um, let's ignite. Let's heal for one, back up to five. Spectral Echo, or hold on to this card. Two for a Jade. Okay. One, two, three. Next, Nemesis. Discard the top two cards of the Nemesis deck. For each tier three Nemesis card discarded, Gravehold suffers four. Oh no. Okay, not, not, oh, okay. That was close. And lastly, we're gonna have a whole bunch of spells go off. Okay. So it's gonna be a grand total of seven damage. And an ally is gonna gain three charges. That ability is really good. Oh, we should have done this first. Okay. Okay, so I don't think. Discard two non corruption disc uh, cards suffer two damage. Okay, so we're gonna discard those. Yeah, this would have gone off first before all that damage. So they go here. Suffer two. Shuffle any player's turn order card into the turn order deck. Interesting, because this is at the end. Uh, we could do us again, or we could do... Yeah, let's go back to let's give Kadir another turn. Okay. Greyfold suffers two. Look at the top card of your deck. You may destroy it. I uh, do want do not want to destroy that. So now it's our turn. All we have is the Mage of Talisman. So we can't gain a charge. However, our ally can gain a charge. So we know it's us. Uh, deal two damage. 49. Deal two damage, destroy a card in hand, which is not anything I want to do. Two more damage. Uh, so we're going to Spectral Echo. And we just have a whole lot 
of ether here. Um, we have eight ether in total. I think it might be time for a wildfire whip. And then another jade. All right, we are really beat up and Gravehold is even in a worse situation. Oh, I forgot to draw up for Phaedraxa. Let's do that now. One, two, three, four, five. All right. All right, so Spectral Echo, Spark, we have four. All we can really do don't want to destroy cards. Just have four. Gonna have to be a cluster. Okay. Nemesis. To discard, spend seven. Aether, power one, the player with the most charges suffers four damage and loses all their charges. Okay, that's not good. We got to get rid of this. Because that could kill Phaedraxa. Oh, crap. Okay. Player with the most charges, Phaedraxa, suffers four damage, loses all the charges. Okay. So Phaedraxa is exhausted. All the charges are gone. Now I gotta look up what happens when a character is defeated. Exhausted. Oh, excuse me. All right. Resolve the Nemesis's unleash effect twice. Okay. So we're going to go. Uh, the exhausted player destroys one of their breaches, discarding any spell prepped in that breach. Um, now it doesn't say open breach, so we're just going to destroy our own open one. 
The exhausted player discards all other charge tokens, which was going to happen anyway. Uh, continues to participate in the game. The exhausted players cannot gain life. When a card deals damage to the player with the lowest life, it always deals the damage to the non-exhausted player. It suffers damage. Deal twice that amount of damage to Greyfold. Oof. Okay. Luckily, that wasn't excess damage. That was exactly the amount of damage. Okay. Well, well we're uh, we're definitely in a race now. So. So, going to spectral echo for two. Spark. Now that we have a plus one damage on cast. And a forty-three. Spectral Echo. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think it's going to be a whip. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's a, a real race. Spectral Echo, do two damage. Destroy a card in hand, might as well be the crystal. And uh, we're gonna ignite. Oh, sorry, that goes there. Put Echo and Ignite out. We have four. Hmm. We're going to buy ourselves a charge. And uh, I guess just a jade. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I put a card in there that shouldn't have been in there. Whoops. Us again. Uh, Spectral Echo. Do we want to destroy a card? No. 39. 37. Cost five to open that breach, eh? So we can get a lot out of that. So, um, so these two oops, will gain us. Oh, should put a charge there. These two will gain us a wildfire whip. Spectral echo. And four. Let's get a cluster. One, two, three, four. Why do I keep putting those in there? Oh, 
Oh, I think I know what I did wrong there. Hold on. I put two, these two were not those at all. I took them from the wrong pile. Okay, so let's wind this back. These should have been shuffled in. I mean, it's not a perfect game state, but it is what it is. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's restore our game state. Okay. Nemesis. Any player places their discard pile on top of their deck, shuffles it, and then destroys the top card five of their deck. Then unleash twice. Okay. Um, okay. Any player places their discard pile on top of their deck, shuffles it, then destroys top five card. Okay. One, two, three, four. Woof, lost a whip in my healing. It's not good. And unleash twice. I think we're going to have that happen to Kadir. There's nothing to shuffle in. All right, Insatiable Avarice, suffer two damage. Place a gem from the least expensive gem supply pile. Take it and put it in. Okay, so we've got Verswood Amber. There we go. All right, Spiritual Echo is gonna go off. Does two damage. Um, it's five to open that, eh? Do we want to open our breach? I think we do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Open that. Place the whip and ignite. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Spiritual Echo is going to go off, so it's going to do three. Uh, destroy a card in hand, it's going to be a crystal. Now we are going to use Kadir's special ability for Phaedraxa to take cards back in hand. So it's going to be the whip and two spectral echoes. Whip, echo, echo. Um, then we have a lot here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Let's get ourselves another whip, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, five. Next, Nemesis. Two different players each gain two corruptions and place them on top of their decks. Each of those players gains one life. Well, can't gain life. Okay. One, two, one, two. Spectral Echo does two. I'm going to destroy the spark. Uh, Spectral Echo and whips go off, so it's five for a total of eight. Just a significant chunk of damage. I don't want to destroy another card. I'm going to put, I'm going to use the talisman to get a charge, give a charge, and then put two ignites in, hold on to the other one, one, two, three, four. Lastly, back to number one, ignite for two. Ally gains a charge. Oh, sorry, we're doing this in the wrong order. To 22, yeah. Okay. Suffer damage, return any card that costs zero from your discard pile to your hand. Okay. Do we have any zero cost? No. Gravehold suffers three damage. <sighs> Gain two life. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Really on the brink here. So the ignite goes off. We gain to charge. Wildfire Whip goes off and does five. <sighs> so it's a grand total of seven. No, six. So we can do, we can buy ourselves a charge. Two, uh, and then clusters by a whip. One, two, three, four, five. Don't think we're going to survive this looking at these. Uh, cards that we have. We'll see. If we get to go before, maybe. Like we'd all look. <laughs> wow. Okay. Think. Think we're going to lose. Nemesis goes, oof, I don't know. I think we're in really bad shape. All right, Gravehold suffers two damage. Is there any way to prevent this? I'm not full on charges over here. Yeah, so no matter what I do here, I just lose. So it takes the two because of the, the corruption card. 
Yeah. I've got no spells to go off. You know, Phaedrax are getting taken out with that lucky hit. I could have prevented that. And we could have carried on for another turn. So for one damage, may destroy. But even, I don't know if that would have been enough. Because over here, we have Lust for Power, Suffer Damage. And that would be twice that amount of damage or go on to Gravehold. So very unlikely to survive that. Wow. That was, I'm not going to lie, that was pretty rough. Um, I think we had some really raw luck with uh, with two of the um, the cards that came out. That da unavoidable damage to Phaedraxa and the massive 16 damage that I had no way of preventing against Gravehold. That was, that was pretty rough. Oh, well. So be it. Um, this is the way it happens sometimes. Uh, so we will move on to the next Nemesis with some new Breach Mages in our next game. Until then, happy gaming. Thank you so much for watching Longship Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It will really help the channel to grow and improve. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when more Longship Gaming content goes live. Until next time, happy gaming.